Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Vlas here at McGuell's Gym. It's Wayne Day for some. Alfie Winter joins me. Um, yeah, you're fighting tomorrow in a six rounder. Is it a six rounder? Your first six rounder against George Rogers. Um, expected you to be weighing in today, but you just told me you're weighing in on the day. So let's just talk about that process because, uh, yeah, like you said, a little bit back to, to the amateur days. Yeah, it's not something I haven't done before, obviously, with the amateur, with the amateur background. Um, I'd much rather be weighing in today, get it all done, and then refuel and go tomorrow. But it's not the end of the world. I'm not making championship weight, so it's not a big deal. So your first six rounder tomorrow, like you said, um, two and zero at the moment. Let's just kind of recap over those first two. And you know, you said you got the amateur background. What's your experience been like so far in terms of turning over from? Because I don't know. I speak to a lot of people, and they tell me it's a little bit of a different sport, really. It is like two different sports. Um, the pros is definitely what I prefer. You got a little bit longer in there, and and it suits a thinking fighter more. So so that's what I prefer. I prefer to take my time, think about it, and then and then go from there. Have you felt sort of power differences as well? Because again, when I speak to a lot of people who turn over, they say, you land your first few shots in the pros and you're like, shit, these gloves really are. They're kind of lightweight, there's no padding. And when you hit people, you can... Uh... When you put on your uh, first pair of fight gloves as a pro, you definitely feel like, oh yeah, I'm doing some damage with these. And, uh, but yeah, like the first two fights, I wasn't with Kevin for long and then we've, we've moved fairly quickly. Um, now it feels like all the training is coming together properly and I'm, I'm taking bits here and there and, and it's all come together as one at the right time now. I'm going to look to use that in this third fight. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, a fountain of knowledge and a British boxing legend. It must be just massive for you in terms of fighter. And I suppose the little buzz you get from it being Kevin, all right, yes, it's about what you do in the ring and what he can teach you. But just the fact you kind of, you're day to day in and out with someone who, like I said, is a British boxing legend. Um, brilliant. Kevin's a madman. He's lovely to work. He's nuts, isn't he? He's Absolutely mad. bonkers, mate. Yeah, he's very knowledgeable, like you say. He's been there and done it all. So he's. Uh, it's just, yeah, like you say, nothing but knowledge, and I just pick his brains all day and, and, and go from there. First six round of tomorrow, then what sort of stuff are you trying to, one, work on, and perhaps two, show yourself, your training team, and show the people who are coming to watch you what you're about? Um, I feel like I'm ahead of my, my fights and my experience as a pro. I want to show my maturity and, and sort of how I can keep my composure in, in the time, and, and, and I'm looking to kind of get the stoppage. I was going to say first stoppage would be tomorrow if it came. Is it something that is not kind of weighing over you a bit, but I know some pros when they start their career, if it goes on for too long, it becomes a little bit of a weight. So you kind of do just want to get that stoppage, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely want to get one in the bank. But yeah, I'm not too fussed either way. If you get the rounds in, you get the rounds in, and it's all valuable experience. Obviously this year about activity. I know when a lot of people turn over, they say, oh, I'll look to be active, but... Well, you've had two already this year, one now, and I think you've got one perhaps scheduled as well. You are looking to be seriously active this year. I'm looking to be 8-0 and by the end of the year, so I'm going to keep, keep trying to push for that. Uh, this is my third fight in four months, so we're staying busy. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Center. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.